Hey guys, welcome back. This lesson is titled The Power of Imagination. Imagination is literally something that you utilize every single day, every single moment even, without your knowledge. <clears throat> so not only are you using it constantly, but also does it have a tremendous, tremendous ability and power because that's what it's created for or that's what it's here for to create your life, to create your experience, to generate the reality that you experience and that you then make physical. So let's get into the idea of imagination and I'll explain exactly what it is. If you imagine consciousness as a field, an infinite endless field, a three-dimensional, four-dimensional, whatever you want to visualize it as, field of conscious intelligent energy. Now inside of this field, there is infinite, endless, parallel, probable realities. One of the realities that exists within this field of all possibilities is the one that we are having right now, or let's just say the experience that you are making tangible for you, for your consciousness as we speak. This is the physical reality experience of me speaking to you through a video screen or through an audio recording. This is one of the options of infinity. You have made this one in particular manifest as we speak. So now when you are using your consciousness, whether knowingly or unknowingly, to tune into a parallel coexistent reality, that is what we have termed, what we have coined imagination. Often when we suggest that something is imagination, it comes with the word just this really nasty little word, this really disempowering word, just imagination. This is just in my imagination. You are just imagining this. This is, this is merely an imagination, a phantom of the mind. Mistake. Because imagination is actually the ability of consciousness to tune into its parallel selves, to tune into alternate realities and to navigate the universe freely. As you know, kids are very naturally imaginative. This is not a bad thing. This is not based in non-reality. It simply means that they have more access still because they allow themselves to have more access still because they're not invalidating these other experiences as being less real, as being just imagination or merely in their mind. So they're still very open. They're still very much giving some, themselves permission and allowing themselves to tune into, tap into, connect to parallel coexistent realities, different versions of themselves, past, future, probable, alter, alternate, simultaneous realities. They are quite literally navigating the field of consciousness more freely than most adults dare to do. So imagination literally is your innate ability to tune into different portions of your consciousness and into different configurations of energy, into different parallel realities. Now, when you are having a physically focused experience, you call it reality. When you are from this physically focused reality, thinking or imagining about something else, you call it imagination. To consciousness, there is no distinction. Not really. There is no difference. The only difference is in the vibration and the degree to which your focus is either placed on this physical slice of reality or on another alternate parallel possible reality of existence. Since we have so much focused our consciousness over and over again into a similar frequency range of realities, we have created what we call a consensus physical reality that goes by certain laws and certain rules and that seems to have some form of consistency and reality, independent reality to it, some independent truths that we as a participant just need to obey and follow. But nothing is further from the truth. You are constantly imagining this into creation. You are imagining this into your consciousness. In other words, this moment consists only of consciousness imagining a particular reality. This moment consists only of imagination. That is the power of imagination. Right now, right now, as I speak to you, as you hear these words, you are imagining this. You are literally creating, generating, imagining this 
perception, this creation, this experience of consciousness. So, you can learn to utilize this same power, this innate power, this innate ability to recognize, to realize, to tune into, to download parallel realities into your view of the here and now. By simply more consciously tuning into and utilizing the power of imagination. Again, realizing that you are always imagining and that you cannot not be imagining because any time that you have an experience, you are imagining that experience into your view. And the more consistently or concisely or precisely or efficiently you're doing that, the more it seems like that becomes your real experience. But that's all there is to it. Physical reality is nothing but imagination. I sometimes call it physical imagination because that's literally what it is. Condensed, densified imagination. It's like a dream that's been repeated over and over to the point of where it has become a physical illusion, a physical imagination, a tangible, structurally seem seemingly structural form of creation that almost seems to exist independent from our consciousness, dreaming it into existence. And so we allow ourselves to forget that we are actually imagining this and dreaming this into existence. But in the same way, we can retrace our steps and remember that that's exactly what we're doing. We are remembering, sorry, we are creating reality by means of imagination all the time. So in a later lesson in this chapter, I will teach you a very efficient technique, which is called see it, feel it, be it, which is a very complete, very simple, very profound approach to utilize your imagination in a very powerful manifesting way. In is what you're already doing all the time. You're already always seeing it until you're feeling it and then you're being it and then you're making it reality. Your lift experience, then it becomes your circumstance, your environment. You're doing this all the time already, but you're doing it unconsciously. You're doing it against your preference. You're doing it against your alignment. You're resisting your true self. And so that particular lesson and the clarification of this lesson, the context that I'm setting right now, will allow you to realize and recognize that you are the consciousness that creates reality. You are dreaming this into existence. You are imagining this into creation. And the more you re realize that, the more you have that conscious awareness of what you always already do automatically, you can start to influence it positively in a benign way. You can start to align it with your true passion, your true purpose, your true theme, your true principles, your true desires. And very swiftly, you're going to see results because you start utilizing that which you've already used so often to create your physical reality in a way that now it is actually conscious, enjoyable, and in alignment with your true heart's preference. So, the power of imagination is vast. It is great. It is endless. And the state of being in imagination cannot be escaped. As soon as you have an experience, you are in a state, a form of imagination. Now, the moment you imagine something that's not yet physical, you call it imagination, but that's the same thing as imagining something that is physical. Focusing on what is physical is also imagination. So you're swimming in a field of open-ended, never-ending possibilities that you're imagining into existence. You're tuning into parallel realities. You're bringing them into your creation by tapping into them by means of what we have called imagination. So starting to utilize the power of imagination, you can literally bring anything into your experience that is truly relevant for you and that you truly desire. And again, if something is truly relevant for you, you will truly desire it. And then you will truly be able to imagine it. And if you can imagine it, if you can expand your horizon, if you can increase your perspective of life, your freedom, your free will, your free perspective, your imagination, if you can start dreaming big and you uh, utilize your imagination, you will encounter the manifestation principles in action. You will start to see that you can literally pull into your experience the things that you desire by utilizing the power of joyful, lack-free imagination. So the homework for this lesson is to sit down, meditation style, for about 10 to 20 minutes, whatever resonates, at least two times before you continue with the next lesson, but feel free to do this throughout the day as well for shorter periods of time or simply more often before you continue. 
And what I want you to do is to simply rest as awareness for a moment, to relax as you are, to relax into the present moment. Take a deep breath and relax your mind for two to five seconds. Give away all ideas for just a moment. Reach that central point, this I am presence point. Notice that you are conscious. Notice that you are awake. Notice that you are alive. Notice that you are now. And from this central space, this starting focus, tap into your power to imagine. In other words, consciously imagine something that you enjoy, that is of your preference. And I want you to become aware of the process of imagination. In other words, the mechanics of it. What is it actually? What's actually happening? Simply pay attention as you're imagining something pleasant, something easeful, something joyful, something exciting, something exhilarating, something freeing, something liberating, something profoundly confirming of your amazing nature. And as you imagine that, pay attention to what's, occur what's happening in consciousness and start noticing that what's actually happening is that your consciousness takes its focus off of the physical realm of creation the physical focus loosens up and starts to vibrate at a slightly higher frequency of consciousness. And it's now tuning into non-physical imagery, non-physical realities. And what you from this physicalized focus imagine or receive as imagination, start noticing that that is actually your mind's or brain's translation into imagery of a parallel possible creation of existence. So notice that as you're imagining something pleasant, that, that the mechanics of what is happening is that consciousness is softening its focus away from the physical and freeing, therefore, its database, its RAM memory space, up its attention space, up for becoming aware now of the non-physical state of consciousness, which the brain and our society has labeled imagination. But know that it is nothing more but consciousness tapping into a particular possible configuration of reality, or in other words, a particular reality or a parallel reality or a particular experience that's simply not physical yet for you. So imagine something pleasant and become highly aware of what imagination actually is. Notice that it is consciousness imagining or tuning into a reality that is simply not present to you physically at this moment but that that, that 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 does not mean that it's not real, that it's not valid. In fact, notice that consciousness experiencing imagination to consciousness is the same as consciousness experiencing physical reality. From its own point of view, it's simply consciousness tuning into a, real, into a reality. So do this 10 to 20 minutes sitting down meditation at least two, to, two more times before you proceed with the next lesson and enjoy it, enjoy the process of reactivating your power of imagination and start to notice that it is a very valid, true, real mechanical process that is inherent, innate to consciousness itself, to your being. And it's crucial for you to tap into that power and to start utilizing it consciously. So have fun with this. And again, in one of the later lessons, we'll make this more precise, more methodical, more active. But for now, just have fun exploring the potential new uh, power of embracing imagination as an extremely valid and valuable tool, tool of consciousness of your being. Have fun.